So this is the Columbia River Gorge at sunrise. Left the house about 6.30 and on Highway 12 on the Washington side, you're gonna get some car noise here, sorry. So just thought uh, this is one of my favorite overlooks. I never get tired of going up the Columbia River Gorge. I've been, I'm a native Oregonian and I've probably gone through it, I don't know, two or 300 times, but it's just gorgeous. You just can't get this anywhere else. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to meet Gus in about an hour and a half uh, up in Biggs Junction, and we're heading to Montana. So, more late. Thursday, the 22nd of September. Gus and I are on a trip to Glacier National Park. We left yesterday. He left Bend, I left Portland, and we met up in the gorge at a place called um, Biggs Junction. And from there, we just booked it all the way to Spokane, up to Sandpoint, and uh, found a camp spot about six o'clock last night on Lightning Creek. Um, and it's uh, on the east side of Lake Ponderé. Um, so we're heading to Glacier this morning. So um, yeah, come along and enjoy the trip. Okay, well, we found camp, went into Glacier, and the campgrounds were full. Tried to do a little stealth camping, but couldn't find any place to stay. So, about 20.
In 1910, President Taft signed the bill that created Glacier National Park. The park is actually two parks. Glacier National is located in the U.S. with a second portion in Canada called Waterton Lakes National Park. The Road to the Sun is 48.7 miles long and starts at Apgar Visitor Center on the south end of Lake McDonald. Construction on the road started in 1919 and took 12 years to complete and is, ends at the north end of St. Mary's Lake. Along the road you will find McDonald Falls, Trail of the Cedars, Heaven's Peak, Weeping Wall, Logan's Pass, Barring Falls, and Gunsight Mountain. As you work your way north on the road, it's hard to take in how big and how beautiful the park actually is. You can't describe it. It's just sensory overload and a video can't and doesn't do it justice. You just have to experience it in person. Gus and I did the best we could to capture the views and we hope that you get at least a sense of what the park has to offer. So sit back, enjoy Glacier and the road to the sun. Gus and I had a great time going through Glacier. It's uh, just an incredible area. They uh, really take care of the park really, really well. And um, uh, for being the end of the season, it was still pretty crowded. So beautiful weather. Um, we got a lot on tape, so we'll see how it all turns out. I did see two grizzlies uh, while we were in the park. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Probably really my first time I've ever seen a grizzly up close and uh, personal. But uh, Gus and I are back at our camp spot that we found last night. And uh, we're pretty close to the highway, but it dies down. Oh, another hour it'll pretty much die down and we won't hear anything till oh, five, five o'clock in the morning, which is no big deal because we're up anyway. So yeah, this has been a, a great trip. We're gonna get up. Um, have our coffee and then uh, start heading towards Priest Lake um, back into Washington 
and uh, heading home. So uh, we accomplished what we wanted to, which was Glacier Park. And now the trip home uh, begins, which is always a little bittersweet, but um, it's the way it goes. These trips do come to an end at some time. So we'll uh, catch up with you tomorrow on the road. See ya. Well, Gus and I's second to last day ride, uh, day four, we ended up at Priest Lake at a uh, state campground or a National Forest Service campground. Anyway, um, had a great dinner, great ride, rode through um, Montana, northern Montana on Highway 2, um, uh, through some great country. And ended up here, so we're about six hours from Portland, so we're going to pack up first thing in the morning. Uh, Gus is on a walk right now down to the lake and uh, we will see you later uh, for a final wrap. -up. Well, good morning. Today is Sunday and it's the last day of our uh, trip to Glacier and back. It's about 6.15 and Gus is sleeping. Thought I'd come down um, to the shoreline here and catch sunrise on Lake Priest. So we're fairly north still in, in Idaho and um, should be on the road by eight and probably home by 3.30. This has been just an awesome trip. Um, boy, you just uh, don't know how big the country is until you get out and drive it. So yesterday we came from Glacier on Highway 2 that took us pretty much due west from. And we have a beautiful drive, just lots of cattle ranches, very remote and a lot of beautiful lakes. Um, so it was a great ride. Uh, got here to Priest about four o'clock, set up camp and uh, cooked dinner and, and just uh, had a nice chat. And anyway, enjoyed, uh, enjoyed our last night, so. Yeah, Priest Lake, about 6.15, Sunday morning. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. Um, looking forward to getting home. Take care. Bye.